Welcome to session 14 vlog of the Athenaeum campaign. All I got to say is, oh, did I win? I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Everything about this was yeah. fun. Everything it, about this was yeah. fun. Game on. An yes. absolute blast. Probably the most fun. Yes. I've awesome. had a really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think most of us have played video games, right? So I don't know. Just a lot of nostalgia brings you back. Yeah. It's fun. Right. Well, like normally this campaign is like you go to one world, you experience another world. You it's like all these different things. This was one session where we experienced like five separate different feels mm-hmm. yeah. at once. Yeah. It was crazy. A lot of fun. Um, yeah. Tori making bodies hit the floor and. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> her splinter sail. Oh my God. Frankie with the <laughs> cannon. Like, for real, for real. Like, t- Frankie would be that guy that when I'm playing online, like, everybody huddle up with this yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to crush it. Right. And I would be the Tory. Like, I would stealth everybody. I would stealth kill. <laughs> well, and I just feel like, I don't know, if Tori were at home, maybe she'd be playing games like the, like League of Legends and just talking shit in the chat. So, and then she just goes on a kill spree. Like, that's just, she's yeah. a troll, for sure. <laughs> like, I would want to play this video game with y'all. Yes! <laughs> yeah. yes! This is how fun this was. I want to play this actual video game. Especially the multiplayer one. Yes! We would have crushed it. Crushed right? it. Gosh. Yeah, oh Tori's new, uh, new handle needs to be Widowmaker. Widowmaker. <laughs> That's yes. what it is. Yeah. Widowmaker. And, <laughs> and I love it. did kind of crack me up coming out of Black Powder's world where Tori's like, oh my God, somebody died. Oh my God. And then in the lot of quote, <laughs> killing spree. Right, right. Well, yeah, in this setting, it's like it's a video game. A video so game. in her mind, yeah. she's not actually killing real people that are all <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I love. Hark, like the NPC stuff in the video game, the multiplayer is like, Mom, Mom. <laughs> oh, <can't> Terrence, <laughs> right? I can't save, I can't save. I can't yeah. <laughs> Poor gamers uh, of today. <laughs> <laughs> I felt kind of, uh, kind of bad, like resting control of Lonic in the beginning, just so many times, but I really wanted to prove that. It was the it's the party that the party of friends that he's known that are able to keep him as himself. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. I like that. I yeah. thought that, that was really, really nice. Because at first, I mean, it, was, it took us a while, but once we got it, then it was like, all right, just shake him. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I think this was important because you know now we're all here, we're bonding with Lonic in his world. I think this is what. You know, for a while, Lonic probably felt a little bit of an outsider. We didn't right. really trust him. And now we're all thrusted at this. But this is what happened to all our characters a right. while ago. Yeah. Right. Now Lonic is seeing how this dynamic plays out where we all come together. Um, yes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yes. Pretty cool. And I think it's important that you all understand the gravity of what he was saying. Like, I, I'm not, I don't have control mm-hmm. of myself. Like, this is not, this is how my life has always been, is just this constant, I'm a, I'm a puppet. I'm just constantly at the whim of some random 13-year-old, <laughs> for example, from time to time. So, yeah. Here's you, wee hawking. <laughs> Oh, the fl- Sam with the flags, the little flags of yeah, wait, yeah. yes, no. I, I'm you. sorry. I was trying to keep it together, but I loved Incredible. it when I would see the little thing pop yeah. up. And I can only imagine what Mr. Calculator would look like when you see him pop up the little thing, his little <laughs> magnifying glass. Be like, wait, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> wait. <laughs> it reminded me of the Game & Watch game Judgment. Judgment? <laughs> I, I don't remember that one. It's represented in Smash Brothers with his side B, his hammer attack, where it flashes a number. Yeah. In the actual game, Game & Watch game Judgment, each player presses a button on one side of the thing, and you get a number, and whoever has the bigger number just wins. Gotcha. Okay. So I just okay. imagine the words on the flags. <laughs> Wait. Lonic and Sous-Vide. 
I am so, very cute. I ship it so hard. I love all the really options cute. that pop up next to her. <laughs> the Diddy Sims. I, part of me wanted to just see what would happen if there was like one fail. Right, one fail. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to see that too. But for Lonic's sake. Sweet. Right. Lonic, Lonic was failing other roles. Yes. But these, yeah, true, true, true. he was cru- it was like every single romance role crushed the wheel. Those, those, those are the ones to win. Ones. Those are yeah. the ones he needs to need that really count. Like yeah. that, like yeah. the last beyond this, beyond Correct. this yeah. scene. Yep. So. Oh lord! And Lonic got his first kiss, sort of. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah that was sort so of. cute. That was so sort cute. Of. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like Tangerine is like if you play the original Mario Brothers, Peach like peppers Mario or Luigi, whoever rescues her with kisses in the original game. But in more recent Mario, Mario as recent as like Mario 2, that didn't happen. And in no Sonic game besides Sonic 06, we don't talk about that one. No. <laughs> Except in Jest. Just like that's like romance, affection, friendship. These are things that Lonic has never experienced. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is why someone as negative as Lado could be considered the closest thing he has to a friend. Yes. Uh, we have Lado finally. We have the edge. <laughs> yeah, you have the edge, the edge log. Yes. Can anyone explain to the viewers who may not have any idea what an edge log is? What exactly is an edge log? Can anyone explain that? Go ahead, Adam. What is an edge log in real life? So, there's a TV tropes term called the edge lord. It's somebody who is extremely dark and gritty and edgy. Think like Marvel's Punisher. Mm-hmm. And a log is a piece of wood. So I just combined those two words because Sonic's main rival is Shadow. And I'm like, this would be stupid and it would be great. And let's give him a gun. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Really? And no, I don't question it. I don't question it because it fits his world. (laughs) It fits Lonic's character. So oh, such... I love Tori playing the uh, the Todd House mini game at the beginning. Too. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like imagining the Price is Right music in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Come on down. Right. Have your pet sprayed and scootered. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God, that was random, but it was you know, genius. I thought you were. I would have liked to see what 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 would have happened if she had picked like the feather or the water gun. Like, what would they have done? Yeah, so so the water gun um, would have been similar to Flood from Super Mario Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it would have been sort of like a Flood machine. And then the feather was more of a an automatic uh, save from falling, like Feather Fall. Oh, beat would. from Mega Man 3. I'm sorry, it's sort of like Beat, beat you mean? Beat from Mega Man 3. Yeah, it would be like Beat from Mega Man 3. Like if you- this little bird... That- around your head save you. Oh, no. and save you wow. yeah i know the player in me wanted to pick one of those other two but when sam lost a life tori was like no nah, i've got to make sure my people I are okay so <laughs> bad just having to sit there while sam fell to his death yeah yes. yeah i tried i felt bad yeah i felt bad that frankie was trying to help i tried help save but he actually hurt he actually hurt sam mr calculator right. <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay. He got his life back. Exactly. He got his life back. And then mm-hmm. also, black, no, baby black powder backpack. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, that's the beauty of this game. That sounds like a one of those, like, meme songs, like, purple, pine, like, pineapple pen, like, pineapple pen. <laughs> Pineapple pen, black powder backpack, or baby black powder backpack. I don't know. Yes. Oh my god. I love it so much. I love it so much. 
Yeah, because I, I hope initially when the soul gets to see it that they're really happy that they were I hope so, too. so included in this session because we so really miss them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Black yes. Connor was definitely the main like the main star. character, the <laughs> star of the show. Yeah, stole, the star stole of the, sh the spotlight so many times that Pistol wasn't even here. Right. Yeah. Black Connor stole the spotlight. <laughs> I support this. I support yeah. this. It's just, it's amazing when some of that takes a life of its own. Cause initially I'm mm -hmm. like, I just want to carry black powder. Like this is what Frankie would do. Like, I'm not going to leave you behind. Mm -hmm. I I'm glad. So here's what it would have happened. I'm glad you did that because I didn't think about baby black powder during the session when Thistle said that they were going to be sick. Cause what I was planning on doing, I was planning on saying, okay, black powder is AFK. And I wasn't sure if you necessarily would be able to save him before he like fell, like uh, fell to his death. So if 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 um, he didn't put him on his back, then Black Powder would have um, almost fallen, but then he would have been like rescued in a cutscene mm -hmm. um, by either Dr. Ganvani himself or Dr. Ganvani's like robots, mechanical robots would have, because Black Powder is, still a mini boss was considered a mini boss so it wouldn't make sense for him to just like uh, die yeah, without yeah. so i would have just taken black powder away until and just you wouldn't have seen him until much later but because as soon as frankie put him in his back i started thinking huh yoshi's island i started thinking yoshi's island. <laughs> like, okay great. so we're gonna we're gonna do this instead yeah <laughs> yes. it was great so it, was, it was it was great to see Al that. <laughs> yeah, Alex was the one who, who who led to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that you did that, Alex, because I was like, this is such a role reversal with BP always being yes. like the dad of the group. Uh, yes. and now Frankie yeah. is doing that for BP. I thought it was actually yes. really sweet. And it <laughs> yeah. was like perfect. It was perfect within character between mm -hmm. those two. Yeah, because it would it, it would it would make sense for Frankie to be like, nope, I'm yeah. putting you on my back. You're Correct. coming with me. I'm not leaving you behind. We already had the discussion last time. <laughs> right. You're coming with me. <laughs> And so, he couldn't say no. <laughs> right, right. So tell me what would be better. Would it be funnier to not tell Thistle anything? And so that Black Powder, when, whenever Black Powder comes back to normal, supposedly, huh. he will not have remembered anything about being a baby. So would it be funnier to do that? Or would it be funnier to give Thistle a heads up so that when they do come back, they can react based on what happened to them as a baby? Like, what do you think would be better? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because as a as a role player, sometimes um, coming in and finding something out, like when you're watching it, you're mm -hmm. like, "Wow, that's amazing." Mm -hmm. but, but had I known, I I vote for telling Thistle what happened and having Thistle like react yeah. for Black Powder however they want. You sure. know, because if I do the art, then. I It'll be funny, mm -hmm. the random out of, out of text art that, you know, I, okay, I'm agree with Alex. I would say I, I'm, I'm second with Alex on that one. <laughs> then, then Thistle can decide if Black Powder doesn't remember or exactly. if they, or if they were aware of everything that happened. <laughs> that would I, I had a question for the group, uh, going back to the warm up question. I was just curious as players, like what your favorite video John oh. or game is <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. uh well i'll i'll say mine um it's an old one it's chrono trigger <laughs> the the turn phase <gasps> yes. i love that one i remember so that good. So good. Yes. So good. i love the so time travel good. and the multiple endings yes. So, yes. 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 <laughs> so much oh they, that's a good one i'm so bummed so many fans tried to remaster like not remaster no. but actually make it more 3d mm -hmm. you know yeah it just never but it yeah square like shut it down and i'm like yeah. do you know mm -hmm. how many people would throw money at you yes like, you, you know how many do people it. throw money at you then you should do it you yeah you do it. it oh wow <laughs> this would give you hype <laughs> yes. yeah banjo i love pajinos kazooie That's like, like if you let the fans do it that'll give them so much hype you know for Chrono Trigger again, like mm -hmm. you could like market that, like come right. on, oh make I money, make yeah, money off of that. And I honestly don't blame you, mm -hmm. but if you heard about the recent success that was Sonic Mania, that literally just happened because Sega found a modder who was porting Sonic CD to iOS, and we're like, you're gonna make a full game with us. And there's so See, much more passion in smart. Than any of the that's other so games. Smart. 
Also, he co-directed the Sonic movie. Oh, that's nice. cool. That's cool. What is everyone else's favorite game? <laughs> well, I don't really know how else to explain oh. it, but... Oh, well. <laughs> what? Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. I just don't know. I just... I don't know. Which one's your favorite Resident Evil? Ooh. Which okay. one's your favorite Resident Evil? My favorite Resident Evil of all time to this day is still the original 1998 Resident Evil 2. Because that's Same. when I became a real fan Same. of the series. Yes. Same. So... 100 percent i don't right. think are I you talking about the director's cut with the hilarious basement music oh no not resident evil original. one not the no the original resident evil 2 from 98 what yeah how oh. would you rank just out of curiosity because i know for some people it was mixed how would you rank resident evil 6 resident evil 6 i'm gonna be honest with you it has a good story but it gets too convoluted. And I think the biggest mistake in the story are two parts. Ada Wong, although she's one of my favorite characters, because to me, she should have made the story more streamlined. But the way they did it, it made it more confusing. And Jake. I cannot stand Jake. But oh, that's you didn't like Jake? Okay. He was cute, and that's about as far as it went. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, I liked Jake, personally, okay. myself. Okay. But I also love Sherry, too. And I think... I like, maybe I should specify this. I don't like Jake on his own. I yes. like Jake with Sherry. Okay. Because Jake and Sherry as a pair is amazing as a pair. Yeah. <laughs> and all I got to say is Pierce and Chris is my, you know, that's my oh, OGT couple. Pierce is, yes. Pierce but- <laughs> is one of my biggest, probably my biggest Fade video game crush of all time. <laughs> we all the same to, page. Next to, no, next to Alistair. Next to Alistair. Pierce is probably my biggest, next biggest okay. crush. Uh, great. Oh my goodness. Uh, how about the rest of you all? Um, I'm still kind of coming down off of this high. This world was like coding syrup. <laughs> but yours like is Banjo that. Kazooie. Yours is Banjo Kazooie. Yep. Is your favorite favorite type of game? Uh, How about you? Oh, go ahead. Like Banjo Kazooie is my favorite game. Period. Yeah. My favorite franchise is The Legend of Zelda. <gasps> oh yeah, that is my, one of my favorites. Yeah, very too. classic. Yes. My favorite genre would probably be platformers, specifically mm-hmm. collectible mm-hmm. platformers. Yeah, I can so, see that. Oh, that's like, cool. they're Makes all sense. over the place, but... Makes sense. Like, Banjo-Kazooie is the cream that rises to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alex? So, yeah, my favorite genre is what I play on my channel. I love my open world mm-hmm. RPG adventure action games. I love yes. being able to just get lost in a world and just do even like random regular things like let's go fishing. <laughs> or like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it could be a go- like an Animal Crossing. <laughs> Yeah, like, Animal Crossing. I love those little <laughs> mini activities that I'll just sit there and I'll get lost like Valhalla has like a dice game. It's like I could get lost in just a dice game for yes. hours, just playing dice <laughs> or something. So I love those kinds of games. Um, I think as far as my favorite franchise of all time, one that I haven't really played recently is the Final Fantasy franchise. <gasps> to me, yes. um, you know, for me, my childhood, because I'm a little old, uh, Final Fantasy VII was my go-to. That was my jam like seven was just imprinted oh, in my yeah. brain it and sits so, for me it sits for me it's for there me. i still need to play the the remake the remake of is it. genius i, yeah, I, like, I have to I play the remake so good. the re i know some people don't oh, they yeah. kind of don't like it the way they did it but i got emotional playing that game hmm. and i cannot wait to put it on my channel so yes you're gonna love it Alex. it's on you're my list it. it's on my list to play mm-hmm. i i love the the older the earlier final fantasies Mm -hmm. not so much the more recent final fantasies Mm -hmm. um but my favorite of all time because i know for most people seven is like their first their first experience playing a final fantasy game because it the playstation made it more mainstream yeah Yeah. whereas i I remember the first one yeah but you remember the first one yes but uh for me my favorite of all time just because because it had just the perfect like hitting all the cylinders of story characters mm-hmm. music sound like soundtrack um was uh final fantasy six like, yes. yes. i love that one so much that's a close one it, for <laughs> yeah. me seven but mm, yeah six this is was so good. it i think i think the reason why i like final fantasy six more than seven is because i i felt that final fantasy seven has amazing characters don't get me wrong 
but Final Fantasy VI for me was able to create fourteen very well fleshed out characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it's still, but it still like felt like it still worked. Like yeah. having one thing that I you you mentioned Chrono Trigger. I didn't like Chrono Cross as much because no, there were tons either. of characters and none of them really like were fleshed out at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. except for. Kid and Surge. That's it. They were the only ones who were really fleshed out. Yeah. And the other characters were cool. How much there were, but there were like thirty or th- of them or something ridiculous, which is interesting. But um, I didn't get attached to any of them. And like, I think I think this the one scene without giving too many spoilers in Final <laughs> Fantasy VI that like sold it to me as this is like an amazing game. Like period was was the opera scene. The yes. opera. Oh my god, the opera. I love that one! Yes. 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 Oh yes, for sure. Six, it was great. Yeah. Uh, Sam, or how about you? Or Joe? Oh, Joe. Me. <laughs> Sam. I, your I name, your Sam is on your up A little bit. Mm. Um, like Alex, I'm a big fan of the um, open RPG mm. styles. That's why I'm, when I watch your game, I'm kind of... The same way when you're streaming, I, I just get lost watching people play as well, but mm-hmm. I'm the same way. I can just play for hours and n- I mean, just, yeah, just exploring. So that's like my favorite genre. Yeah. Um, my favorite game, um, I have to say, was actually Knights of the Old Republic. <sighs> because yes. when I yes. played that through, I mean, I did start to finish. And when it came to the reveal, I mean, it was so jarring and stunning to me. I actually had to set the controller down and walk away for over an hour just yeah. to wrap my mind around yeah around that reveal. Yeah. It was a good reveal. It was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Joe, did you did you hear that they are remaking it? Remaking yes, it. Yes. Yeah, yes. they're remaking it. I yes. can't so wait. I'm looking I'm play forward to it. it. Would you would you consider let's playing it on your channel? <gasps> would you consider Joe, I would watch. I would yeah, watch I would, it. Yeah. I'm already subscribed. I'm ready. <laughs> same. same. <laughs> I, I probably would. I probably would. Cool. Because with the first one, like I said, just as stunning as that was for me. I mean, just absolutely jarring and stunning. I mean, it blew me away, really. I mean, just in a big way. Um, but then older, because I'm so old, you know, I've seen a lot of change yeah. in gaming. So yeah. in like the late 80s, I mean, I was a big, huge Contra fan. We would play oh, Contra. Yeah, I played Contra. Yeah, for yes. played it. hours that was fun. and yes. hours and hours. Um, and then prior to home systems, I mean, it was all arcade. Arcade. Mm-hmm. So we would spend, you know, just weekends in the arcade playing games. And at that point, it was a lot more. Um, you know, there weren't a lot of video games where you could have multiple players. So when Gauntlet first hit our arcade, where you oh, could have a four Gauntlet people is fun. play, oh, um, it, that one was just crazy good because me and my brothers could play a video game together. So a lot of good memories of Gauntlet. Yeah, Gauntlet's great. <sighs> since you since you mentioned Star Wars, uh, for me, my favorite Star Wars character i I haven't seen. Um, the I haven't seen the Mandalorian yet, so I'm sure I would have also enjoyed Baby Yoda. But um, <laughs> my favorite character from the franchise of Star Wars is actually Carthonassi from Knights of the Old Republic. I like Carthonassi a, a lot. Yeah. yeah, I love whenever Kotor first came out. That a lot of the reviews were like, "If you were dissatisfied with the prequels, play this game." Right. Yeah. yeah. Very much. In HK forty seven, HK forty seven. This is just awesome. Yeah, HK was really <laughs> awesome. Yes, yes. I love it. Yes. Oh my goodness. Rest. Prepare to die. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love him. Um, cool. Anything else? I mean, like so much happened in this session. We did a lot. I loved the first person shooter segments where everyone got to be tactical and everyone yeah. had a role. Yep. Everyone's flavor to their outfits and the flavor yes. to the cars was amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I love those. Yep. So, okay, just so you guys know, um, 
I will draw them in the cars. So I'll draw the cars. So please send me your ideas so I can have them in dis uh, in the Discord. Because once I'm done drawing Sam's world, because that's the next thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to come right back to Lana's world so I can start drawing the cars and, and putting... And I'm going to draw your character in their um, platform form in the car. And I'm going to draw little baby black powder. So whenever you send that to me, I'll get I'll get to work on it because right now I don't have any clients at the moment. Woo! Nice, nice. So well, thank you for that. Always excited You're welcome. to see more Micah art because you are a treasure. Well, I, I the only thing is I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's important. I'm not gonna lie, whenever Lado came up and taunted us at the end, I thought that was gonna be Gan Bonnie. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. No, they're yeah, I'm, their voice is are similar. I made their voices pretty similar. That's true. Right. I mean, just like I was like, we've seen Ganvani a lot already. Is he yeah. Team up with us instead of Lado because I kind of worded it like it's each is about as absurd as the other. <laughs> that that could have that could have been a thing that could have happened. Right. Oh my goodness. It could still happen. Possibly. Could still happen. I, I'm looking forward to the next. I, I want to know what's behind door number one for the next session. And mm -hmm. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. 